In this brief video, I will be going over all four of these players that they have been linked with our move to Arsenal today. The first link is uh, Mikhailo Mudrik, who have who's obviously been linked with Arsenal throughout this whole window, really, with um, Chelsea coming in. And uh, it says here, Baldi is believed to have scheduled talks over Mudrik, who has agreed personal terms with Arsenal, interest in the winger, has echoes of Bidova Finha, who were never wanted to join Barcelona, and a late inquiry over Charleston, who joined Tottenham, which was obviously in the summer. This is about, obviously, we had our second bid rejected for around 60 million, as Shakhtar won about 80, 88 million. And Chelsea, who have just uh, had their Enzo Fernandez deal collapse, have money to spend, obviously, and they consider Mudrik as the perfect winger, according to Fabrizio Romano. So I would not be surprised if Chelsea just chuck in an 88 million bid, because that's what they do. But the main thing is, is that Mudrik does want Arsenal. His like dream is Arsenal, and he would prefer us to Chelsea. But if we refuse to put down the money, which I don't think we're paying that much, and Chelsea do put the money, then he could easily go there. But... This is still a very open race and we do have control as he is mainly interested in us, so yeah. Next piece of news comes from Jao Felix as he's been left of the Copa del Rey squad today and um, as he's been linked with a move to Arsenal, Man United and Chelsea on loan. He hasn't returned to training as he doesn't want to risk an injury for just in case he does move. Um, I thought he would want 21 million loan fee which is ridiculous but... I do think that later in the window that fee will slowly come down once they realise that nobody's going to pay that and then all your Arsenal and uh, Man United will try and move in for him then so I think the clubs will be waiting until then and I think this is a move for later in the window of course so I don't think anything will happen very soon yet. A little bit of news coming in about Yuri Tillemans as obviously Arsenal were interested in him in the summer but Football London understands that the player could be available for a reduced price to this window but Arsenal not thought to be keen in signing him which is interesting because we were linked very heavily last summer and I thought we'd get him but seems like we aren't really interested and we moved on to other targets so that's interesting and speaking of other targets we're one of the clubs in for Kudos in the uh, summer um, which will be a most likely summer move I don't think anybody will get him in January but um, this is interesting because I do like him he had a brilliant World Cup and he played on the right wing for Ghana but I think because yesterday against Newcastle Xhaka uh, he's very good but that when he turns on when, on the half turn in the transition when Zinchenko pings it to him he yeah, is a little bit slow and kudos in that eight role could be good but maybe him and Odegaard won't work but I do think this he can also play in the wing so I do think this would be a good signing for us if we can get it but as you can see there are loads of clubs are interested and it might we might not be able to get him but I do think we could be one of the favourites as we're very attractive nowadays top of the league. Also him and Partey are also from Ghana so maybe that could be a little connection but that's just hypotheticals. Uh, in other news, Jesus, uh, he put this video of him in the gym, doing gym work on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, and he obviously doesn't need the crutches anymore, which is brilliant news. As he's supposed to be back by mid-February, as it was predicted. Uh, although there was no certain time scale, but that was, what was the prediction time. And uh, he's on track for that, or maybe even earlier, but at least he's on track for that. So I'll be brilliant to have him back as soon as possible. And I put this on the channel as a post earlier. Uh, Jack Wilshire on Instagram uh, had a picture with Seth Fabregas and he said, um, learning from the best football brain I know as a player, I wish I had the chance to play with this guy for longer, but having the chance to pick his brain about certain situations and how he thinks about the game is invaluable. Um, and people thought, oh, are they working? Is he uh, part of the academy? And it says here, Fabregas has been working with the Arsenal Academy over the um, past few days uh, and with Wilshire, and he wants to be part uh, part uh, manager when he retires. So, yeah, um, that's not really much news there, but that's why he was there, uh, obviously, at the training ground. So, wish him and Wilshire the best of luck in uh, working together. That's it for today, guys. Uh, leave a comment on uh, all the news I've discussed today, and especially Mudrik, uh, if we should meet the asking price, if we shouldn't let Chelsea have him, etc. Because obviously he has been putting Instagram posts about and about us watching our games, so he obviously wants us. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the subscribe, hit the like, and uh, leave me a comment saying if you like these kind of videos and if I should do more of them. So uh, thanks for watching again.